Hey guys, so I'm filming this review portion on a different day. I am so sorry that this video is up so late. I expected to post this video a long time ago. But if you follow me on Twitter, you would have known that while everybody got these um, liquid lipsticks in the mail, I was waiting for mine in the mail. Mine actually got lost in the mail. So I was just patiently waiting for them to arrive and they finally did. So I was able to film this video and put it up for you guys. I'm not wearing makeup, by the way. Just my eyebrows, but I didn't feel like putting makeup on. Anyway, I wanted to quickly come on here and give you guys my full and 100% honest review on this product. There has been a lot of like back and forth like controversy about these liquid lipsticks. So I am here to talk about them. I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. I'm just gonna go right to the, I'm just gonna go right to it. You are either gonna like these or you're not going to like these at all. Um, I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I personally like them, but that's just me. I'm just gonna grab this random one that's sitting here. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very, very, very similar to the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. They pretty much have like the same amount as those. It's just a typical liquid lipstick packaging. They retail for $6, which I don't know any other liquid lipstick that is that cheap aside from the LA Girl Matte. I believe the LA Girl ones are called their matte lip glosses, but they are liquid lipsticks and those are around $4. I think they're even cheaper than this. So anyway, they are super, super affordable. I'm gonna go into the pros really quick. They're affordable, they're $6. Totally, totally inexpensive. They are not tacky whatsoever, which kind of works both ways. Some people don't like that. But they are the kind of liquid lipsticks that when you do this, no, it doesn't transfer. Like some of this won't get stuck on the top, which I find that that sometimes happens with my Kat Von D ones sometimes certain colors they don't transfer because it's not tacky it almost dries instantly but you could still build up the color like you can do layers and layers and layers i don't find a problem with that but when they dry they dry like they dry <laughs> they're so matte so there's there's no tackiness you don't get that weird thing that you do get with the la girl the la girl ones they're great but they're tacky anyway so yes they are not tacky they don't transfer they're not patchy those are the things I really like. Cons. People are not going to like this if they hate drying formulas. These are very drying. They're liquid lipsticks. They are... the Okay. The formula that is closest to this are the Lime Crime Velveteens. The Lime Crime ones are liquid when you apply them. Like you apply them to your lips and it's pure liquid and then they dry to a matte formula. The ones like the Stila... Dose of Colors, uh, Anastasia, they're like a moussey formula. Like you could um, swatch them on your mouth and on your hand and you see that it's a mousse texture. It takes a little bit longer to dry. But they are pretty freaking drying, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I'm the type of person, me and my friend Gabby always laugh about this, I can wear MAC Ruby Woo, which for some reason is like the driest MAC lipstick, I don't know why, but I could wear MAC Ruby Woo for like the entire day and I don't feel it, I love it, it's like my favorite MAC lipstick, I don't feel it on my face, and my friend Gabby is like, how do you wear this? This is cement on my mouth, like she cannot do it. I, I can literally wear cement and I'll be fine with it, as long as it doesn't crumble, I can wear the driest lipstick in the world. Just because I, I don't care how it feels as long as it lasts all day, like that's my thing. But anyway, these are super drying. If you don't like drying um, liquid lipsticks, you're not going to like these. But for example, the Anastasia ones are not drying, last, they kind of smear on me. That's okay. Some of them last, some of them smear on me. These don't smear because they're super freaking matte. So, I mean, you have to take it with a grain of salt. They're $6.00. So some of them you have to work with. The lighter shades, like for example, this one, I'm not gonna lie, I hate this color. This is called Vice. This one's called Vice. This is, don't buy it. This is terrible. But then you have a color like this. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. This one's my favorite one. This one's called Tool. Super smooth and it felt almost more hydrating than the other ones. So weird. Um, so you have to take these with a grain of salt. I say buy two, buy one or two and then try them out and then go from there. My favorite liquid lipstick formula is the Girl Lactic ones and the Dose of Color ones. So test it out for yourself. I have found that the best way to use this, like when I first tried it on, I'm like, okay, these are pretty drying, I gotta work with it. I personally 100% recommend using a lip balm underneath this. These are a little bit high maintenance. I, I recommend using a lip balm underneath or a lip primer. I really love the Cargo lip primer. I've been using it underneath these like the past two days and I like the Cargo lip primer. 
I also recommend if you don't have that, use a lip liner. Like use a lip liner on your entire lips and fill in your lips and then go with this on top and it makes it less drying and it doesn't go into your lines as much as this by itself because this can kind of accentuate your lines. So using a lip liner on your entire mouth will diminish that. So a lot, of, I know you're like, well those are really high maintenance, you have to use a lip balm, a freaking lip primer, a lip liner. I mean, yeah, but they're six bucks. You can make it work. So yeah, those are that is my honest, honest 100% review. It's not my ultimate favorite formula, but I don't think it's absolute shit. You know, I think it's pretty decent, especially for the price. So.